The purpose of this video is to show how I designed, built and tested a 10 GHz slot antenna out of a hardware store 25 by 10 mm aluminum profile used as waveguide. All the hard work showing how to calculate this type of antenna was already done by Paul Wade, Whiskey One Golf Hotel Zulu, who also made available a spreadsheet. I also took as reference the antenna built by Ole Nicher, Oscar Zulu 2, Oscar Echo. The links are in the description. And this is the setup used to calibrate the important pins of the antenna. For that, I'm, I'm going to use this network analyzer over here. It's already calibrated. I used this Rosenberger calibration kit. And you can see here the measured impedance. Let's try to adjust these screws and see what happens. The span is 100 megahertz. Let me change this to 10 megahertz. So you can see here, spot on, the center frequency is 10.368 gigahertz. Now let's change the format to log mag and the span to 100 megahertz. Let's set the marker to 
and you can, you can see here that the return loss is about 31 dB which is pretty good and this is the radiation measurement setup here is the receiver and there is the antenna the receiver is a 10 gigahertz horn a 10 dB amplifier and a spectrum analyzer the antenna was mounted on a graduated mechanical divider and I measured the signal level of the horn antenna for each 10 degrees for the frequency source I used a synthesizer programmed with 10.368 GHz and a 20 dB amplifier oh, let me show how this thing works Here we can see the measured data and the resulting radiation pattern. This lobe should have the same shape of this other one, but probably due to reflections and the no ideal test environment, they are different. We also see here that the pattern is rotated about 25 degrees counterclockwise. Probably the antenna was not facing correctly the horn when I started. Notice that the thickness of the walls of this waveguide is about 2 millimeters and the thickness of a proper WR90 or WG16 waveguide is 1.27 millimeters. That's all I had. Thanks for watching.